For the longest time, I've been using a multitude of apps to stay on track for everything I do on this channel. From script writing to calendar management, my attention has always been divided between a number of apps and interfaces, and to be honest, keeping up with all of it was a juggling act that I was never that keen on, despite it working for many years. However, about six months ago, I started using an app that some of you might have heard of called Notion. Notion had the promise of condensing all of those apps I was using into one highly customizable place, and it really piqued my interest. So slowly but surely, I moved everything over to it. And during that period of time, it's become my absolute favorite app to stay organized with. It's even made it to the home screen on my iPhone. Because I'm quite new to Notion, I'm by no means an expert on all of the things it can do. And you might see people with much more exciting setups than mine, but I found it tends to grow with you. You can make it fit around your needs rather than your needs fitting around an app, which is really awesome. So when Notion reached out to work together on this video, I was really excited to show you how I've got mine set up and how I've been using it to stay on top of everything I do here on the channel. Oh, and I do mainly use this on my iPad, although for the ease of making this video, I'm going to show you it on my Mac. And if you do want to check Notion out, be sure to use my sign up link in the description below. Anyway, let's dive right into it. So welcome to my Notion page. This is what I see when I open up Notion every single time, whether I'm on my phone, iPad or Mac or PC or whatever. And this is what greets me. Um, it feels really revealing you showing you all of this because this is basically everything that goes on inside my head into a page. And this is where I keep track of just absolutely everything. My setup for my homepage is really quite simple. It's divided into three sections, which is video content, ideas, and miscellaneous. Video content is where I plan everything for YouTube and Instagram Reels and TikTok, and even for normal Instagram posts. I've then got an ideas section, which is just kind of things that I'm thinking about. Um, things I might do in the future. And I've got a miscellaneous one, which is just other things that I do like to keep track of as well. Um, I can just add anything to these columns by pressing the little plus icon and then adding something in here. These all actually list out to different pages. So we'll start off with a really simple one. Let's look at the scripts. And these are the scripts that I have for videos. Super simple, nothing too complicated in here. But if you click into one, you can see how I write a script and all those sorts of things. Writing in Notion initially felt quite strange, but I got used to it quite quickly. You can um, if you put in a slash, you can get like headings and things like that. So I could put a heading in here and say title, or this would be the iPad tips and tricks or something like that. Um, and then usually at the top of the script, I have some like kind of ideas for how the title might be and things like that. But yeah, I just write it in here. It's a very kind of in a very simple way to a text editor. That's what this is going back out here. And it's just all of my scripts. Um, that I've done recently. So that's the scripts. Coming back to the homepage, this is actually the biggest thing for me, the video roadmap. Now I was a huge user of Trello before and I was really worried about leaving that, but you can actually import things into Notion, which is awesome. So I use this button here and then you've got all these options. So you can, you know, Evernote, uh, all, all these other ones, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, all that sort of stuff. But I actually imported my Trello board, which was huge at the time into here. And that's really what got me started. So if we click into the video roadmap, this is everything that I had on Trello and Notion managed to bring it all in, which is awesome. So this is how I <laughs> keep track of all my video kind of rough ideas, normal ideas and, and how they're going. On the left-hand side, there is the current ones, which is what I'm doing at the moment, which is the Notion tour. And then I've got ones that I'm slowly working on, maybe some scripts in the works. The main function here or the, the main column was just ideas that I had, but I wasn't sure if they were worth doing or anything like that. And then I have an ideas section over here. Now this is a totally backwards way of using it because like I say, it came from Trello that doesn't have quite as much customizability as this. But usually an idea will come from the ideas section. So I'll grab an idea. So let's say uh, the MacBook Pro. And if I think it's a good idea, it will come to the top of main. And then once I flesh it out a bit more, I'll click into here and write some notes occasionally on it. And then if it is something I want to put into production, I'll bring it over to here. And then when it's working on it, that's where it will stay. And then when it is done, I'll drag it over to the publish list. And you can see since I've been using Trello and Notion, I've actually published 109 videos, uh, which, is, which is nuts when I think about it. But if I scroll down, you can see, yeah, all the videos that I've done. So they're quite nice to click into occasionally. I've also got some other ideas that I kind of left over from um, they're left over from my Trello days. So I was, I was thinking about doing live streams. I was thinking about doing 
uh, lots of bits and bobs and stuff and I had a done section. It was It's just a bit left over, but those, those four columns are my main ones. If we head back to the main page again, I've got the same thing for Instagram posts, so ideas and uploaded ideas. I don't always keep massive track of what I'm doing on Instagram, that it kind of feels like of the moment, so I jump in and out of that a lot. And it's the same with um, TikTok and Reels and stuff. I've got some that are in progress and I've got some that are kind of ongoing and, and things like that. I don't put a huge amount of thought into short form content yet. It's um, something that's very much on my to-do list, but I have, don't feel like I've quite cracked it. At the bottom of the video content is the content calendar. If I click into here, this is my, a very simple calendar, which I uh, keep all track of all my videos on. I can go back and show you the ones I had there and ones I had here. These are just to make sure I'm staying on track for the current month. And if anything crazy crops up, I can make sure it's not clashing. Although I do let things clash occasionally, much to my detriment. So all of these pages I have in video content are basically based off a template. And this is one of the great things about Notion. It can feel very scary, but then you can, if you add another page, and let's just say I'm trying to work on, I don't know, YouTube Shorts, which is again on my to-do list. Um, if you go into templates, you can actually load up a load of templates, which makes sense to you. They've got loads built in here in Notion and you can fly through these. This one's for engineering, marketing, you know, mood board, something like that. That might be quite good. So I'm going to hit use this template and that will add in this template into my Notion. So as simple as that. And now I have another section, which it opens up another window and then I can go straight into my ideas for YouTube shorts or something like that. One thing I really, really like to do in all of the customization across all of my pages on Notion is I've kind of brought in that kind of feel of my channel. So when I open this up, everything feels like I'm in that kind of bite review mode. So I usually do that by changing these covers. You can move these around and you can add little icons here. What I like to do is just make sure everything feels like it's part of my channel. So all of the uh, headers and all the pages have that kind of, it just remind me of the vibe that I'm going for whenever I'm making a piece of content. So it just feels like I'm in that kind of work mode and it's just a, a nice place to be. Um, and I even have it here and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, moving on to my ideas. There's not loads to show you in this section that they're kind of similar and I can't show you all of them. One of the things I wanna work on this year is um, an online course, which I asked some people about on Instagram and I chucked all of your replies, all of your wonderful replies into here so I could build out some form of idea of what I would like to do. And um, there's YouTube membership as well. Something as well I haven't particularly looked at, but um, this is just, keeping track of things like that, like chat icons and Discord channel and behind the scenes. I haven't really fleshed that out too much, but um, if that's something you wanna see, let me know, that'd be awesome. And then moving over to the miscellaneous, I've got um, some goals which I keep track of and I keep track of these in here in Notion as well because they're just, it's just such an easy layout and it's such a nice way of doing it. I didn't really mean to reveal my goals to you as such, but um, as we're here, you know, I've got controllable, non-controllable and goals that are done. So controllable goals are really useful to have because you can actually do something to to make that happen to, you know, because you have full control over it. So a Skillshare class is something that I'd really like to make. I'd like to increase my income stream. So I've got a bit more financial security. Um, I thought about making lots of lo-fi stuff recently and a USP video, something which you can only see here, which you can't see any on, on any other channel. Those are some things I'd like to make. I've also got my non-controllables as well. So these are things I don't really have any control over. I'd love to hit that 100K subs this year. That would be awesome. Uh, if you're watching this later down the line and I have that, then hooray. And if not, what's going on? And it'd be cool to hit 20 million views. Um, kind of on track for that one already, which is awesome. And then I've got a done one over here, a done section, which just keeps, it's a nice to remind yourself of the things you have done. Um, because sometimes it's it's hard to uh, celebrate the goals when you hit them, especially on a, a platform like YouTube. So Notion's good at reminding me that too. Coming back to the homepage, I actually have a few things in my favorites as well. Um, these are basically just tabs that you can go into straight away, which are just a bit quicker than using your homepage. It's actually good if you're on mobile or if you're on um, the iPad, for instance, you can actually have your favorites appear in a widget on the screen, you can click straight into them. So it's really, really useful for those sorts of things. Under miscellaneous as well, I've got an equipment page and this is a really nice little table in Notion. Um, these are some uh, pieces of equipment that I'd really like to get uh, this year. Um, the Tamron 70 to 180 lens is something I'd love to have a go on. It's nice because you can um, put them in here and you can actually keep a link to them there so you can get straight back to them. 
I'd love to pick up a Sony a7S 3 um, I actually picked up the a7 IV, which I'm filming on now, but um, the S3 is kind of still on the horizon, I think. Um, <laughs> I've put too expensive for this one. This is this is a watch that I really like, and um, well, it's a couple of watches, but I, I can't really afford them, and um, they seem a bit unnecessary. I'd like to upgrade my other Sony lens as well to so something a bit more uh, depthy. And um, I was thinking about picking up the AirPods Max, but I haven't yet. And you can give it tags as well. So lenses go blue, camera equipment goes uh, uh, green, and content goes red. So that means I can, content means I can build content around it and it could well be seen as an investment rather than those sorts of things. So let's head back to the home page. And this is another thing I really, really like. I've actually got a couple checklists on the end here, which are really useful. So when I go out on freelance shoots, if they're going to be in a photo or video, I can just click here and then it reveals everything I need to take with me and I can just tick it off as I go. Nice and simple like that. These are really great, they're kind of reoccurring lists and they're just to make sure I don't forget anything because when you pack for a shoot, it's really easy to forget a big bunch of stuff. So I have one for photography and I have one for video and I can tick those off as I'm packing my bag and it's just another useful feature of Notion. I've also got some game checklists here. I want to get through Ghost of Tsushima, which I'm playing at the moment, um, and these are some other games that I want to play on PS5. I've done a few on the Xbox and on the Switch as well, Breath of the Wild 2, hopefully this year. But all of those added together, that's effectively my use case of Notion. It's a really, really amazing tool, and it's taken me quite a long time to get where it is, and you've probably seen people with really, really impressive notions. And um, mine's relatively basic, and I'm okay with that for now, because it really does help me keep on track. I would be lost without Notion now, and I almost can't believe I'm saying that, and I'm only six months down the line. Something that's worth mentioning as well is um, I have Tom's Notion up here because it's only me using this, but you can use this as a team completely. So you can assign people to certain tasks, you can have loads of people editing one thing, like a really big collaborative tool, which is really, really interesting. It's not something I've personally jumped into because I'm a one-man band here, it's just me running this channel, but um, I can see how it would be incredibly useful, especially if you had multiple people working on it. So that pretty much rounds up how I've been using Notion for the past six months or so to keep track of absolutely everything I've been doing here on the channel. If it's something that you'd like to give a go, then use my sign up link in the description below. That would be really awesome of you. As ever, if you can pop a like on the way out, that'd be massive, and I will see you all in the next one.